first day, we decided we'd come up and lay out a few lines. I walked the field and I said, we're going to do what? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, God had a plan. Right. And we, we were just thankful that we got to be a part of that God's plan. Amen. And, you know, the Bible says, without a vision, the people perish. Amen. And so, vision was here. And the people are thriving. So, you know, and we thank you for that. You know, and, and be a lighthouse. Just continue to be a lighthouse. All right. We thank you. I'm going to say one other thing there. It's just like I said this morning. It was dark. But now, there's light. Amen. The other thing is, Isaiah 6 and 8, it says, Here I am, Lord. Send me. Send me. So he will. He will send you if you will let him. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. We love y'all. Totally. Amen. We have a blessed time. We have a blessed time. Brother Glenn drove all the way from Delta to Alabama. Wow. And we thank God for him. Amen. Amen. We have the city of Utah. Uh, the man, will you uh, still, will you please come and greet us? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I thank God uh, once again for this opportunity to stand before these people. Um, I always a little bit nervous and concerned when I stand before God's people because you really do have to be careful. That's the way you say. And so I just pray that He uh, guide me and, and that I present myself appropriately. And I want to, um, what was this? Um, the campus mission. Uh, people should know that uh, Utah is a pretty safe place. <laughs> um, I don't think that it's too much you have to do for and I think I'll try to make it kind of low. Uh, but I just wanted to also, uh, once again, thank God for the opportunity to be here and uh, to pass well that all of the uh, other ministers here and to our uh, guest speaker, uh, Mr. Apostle uh, Stephen Green. Um, it gives me great pleasure to uh, greet you all on that behalf of the city of Utah. And I believe uh, some of the council members are here. Uh, they may be coming uh, before you uh, as well. But um, I um, met um, Pastor Crossville, I mean, uh, Pastor Well, uh, here, and uh, he wanted to get a bill of commitment. Gave his vision, uh, asked me what he wanted to do with the building. And believe it or not, as you see it, it is exactly the way that he explained it to me. Uh, he stood back there and said that the pulpit and, and all that you see would be just where it is now. Uh, he explained to me um, about the pastor's study of the bathroom. He explained all of it in detail. So apparently, uh, God or somebody had put this vision in your mind. All right, he knew exactly where everything was supposed to be at. And like the lady said, or like the uh, mission group said, uh, I kind of felt that way a little bit. But uh, but I, I had faith and I had belief in and uh, Pastor Well that uh, if he could see it, then God could make it happen on uh, his behalf. So. Uh, well, and to uh, this church family, I pray that everything continue to go uh, as it is going. Because uh, when I first looked at this and looking at it now, it really is almost like a miracle. Because this is a very, very beautiful sanctuary, yes. and I think it's a very beautiful place uh, uh, to come and worship our Lord and, and Savior. Um, and uh, and I don't want to even talk about the negative stuff because it doesn't matter. You know about naysayers or anything of that sort, and uh, so 
I just want to say that I'm uh, very uh, uh, pleased with uh, what you have done uh, for this community. Uh, this is nothing just thrown together. Uh, it's well built, and it's something that the city of Utah is proud of, and I thank your church membership, your church family, uh, I know they're proud of it. And I just pray that uh, God continues to, to lift this church up, lift this church family up, and continue to grow this church. Now, um, I was, um, every once in a while, I do read a little bit, and I study a little bit. And I ran across these words, Pastor, and I thought about you, and I said that I was going to share uh, what I was reading uh, today uh, with you and your church family. And uh, what I saw in my study was that you were created for a purpose. There is a perfect plan for your life. Never forget God created you for a specific assignment. God loved you. He planned you. He scheduled your work. He has found a link to you. In fact, God loved you so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to help you. Just want, um, Jesus want you, Jesus want to help you feel all the dreams God created you to accomplish on this earth. And I know there are many. All you have to do is just ask him. And last thing I want to say, I really and truly believe that God's gonna fill your heart with joy at some point in time. If you haven't did it already, I know he's going to do it because you're working hard for him. And you are uh, blessing this community, you're blessing the, the church and family. I know that uh, one of the legacies uh, said that you walk in the wall and you talk in the wall and I just say, Lord, you continue to bless this community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, very very supportive of this ministry. When I asked him to do something, uh, he he sent his guys out and do what I need to do. Uh, most times that same day. And been very cooperative. I mean, I'm talking about very, very cooperative. Uh, so we just want to thank God for him. Amen. City Councilman, Ms. Johnson, she's And one thing was say you did, and I know you know the 
because you trust God. You trust God. You been it. They don't come. That's the truth. You been it. That's the truth. Read the Bible. In the Bible, them men have a plan. They didn't just build anything. They had a plan. They been the Cuban swell all the way down. Read it. When Noah built the ark, then he went from Cuban swell all the way down. He did it. He went kind of Noah and put it there. He had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Consider as my friend. Uh, I, don't, I don't call too many people friends, but this is my friend right here. Uh, he's there when we need him. Uh, we talk, talk about the Bible. When I need encouragement, I go in his office. Uh, we just sit down and talk. And we love this man to death, and we just thank God for him. Dan, would you please come in your own way? say my prayers, I say, I can't think of anybody that doesn't need praise for her. But Pastor Joe Webb's name is on the top of the list. Wow. <laughs> I've been praying for you, man. <laughs> and I love you. This is a beautiful place filled with beautiful people. Thanks, Dan. Thank God for all of you. 
like to see Trina. I got to see Mr. Wynn in the back. Um, green track. Um, you you want to have anything said this time? You come on. Huh? <laughs> Good evening. That's, that's all. Uh, we thank God again for all of you for being here. Um, um, our officials and all the rest. We're going to ask that um, song, the song, Terrence and T3. While they're coming, while they're coming, I want to thank God for my family. I'm, I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. My brother was here this morning from Atlanta. He's gone back. My two boys was here this morning. They're going to Indiana. My son, other son, was here. He's gone back to Atlanta. But all these, all of them came to work. Lawrence, will you please stand? That's my brother and his wife. My sister Sailing. With Elaine, I know I saw her in the back. Um, and William, all the rest of them, they've been here and gone. So this is like 11 of, of us. You know, it was 16 of us, and 11 are still living. Diane, my niece, um, and then my sister-in-law and her husband, they came to work. Uh, they worked and worked. We had a whole crew here yesterday. They came and worked and worked and worked. And, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Uh, this family, uh, thank God for uh, uh, Sister Esther and my brother-in-law, uh, Floyd, my God. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, yeah. just work and work. I mean, we had people here. We were here at 2 o'clock this morning working. Uh, members, everybody, I'm talking about my family right now. And another thing, another we just really, really thank God for Loretta. Back home of the ministry. And, you know, uh, I'm just telling you, I mean, I could just say a whole lot. And she keep this ministry going. She keep me going. And, you know, spiritually, financially. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, everybody, you know, we got somebody in everybody's family, you know. So she will. <laughs> I know mean, you saying that one time. You got everybody in somebody's family, but she's the one. Good heart, and we just thank God for them. So we just thank God for all of you and all of my other family members and new generation. We got some plan for you later, Amen. And, and uh, but before we go, we're gonna save my wife for later, Amen. We want to give her a special, Amen. All right. Yeah, let's give her. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, every. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, if y'all sitting there looking at me, I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Now I'm looking for the live folk, ain't looking for nobody there. Now, if you got breath in your body, I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise now, if you know God has been good to you, now is a good time to open your mouth and give him glory. Yeah. Simply because he woke you up this morning. You had food on your table. Your kids are doing fine. Y'all sitting here looking at me. Come in your hell as you want to be. You ought to be giving him glory. Hallelujah. It's a new generation. We thank y'all for the invitation. It's good to be back home. Amen. Amen. To Pastor Will. I don't know if I ever told y'all, but I'm kind of sort of like a PK. Because I grew up on the Playing at night in high school, with band and all that stuff. And I want to say I appreciate you. 
for being who you are. Lord blessed us to release an album in June. Can we sing a little bit for y'all tonight? My mother recorded this song back in the 70s. I know, I don't know. And when she transitioned, I made a phone call. And asked the people that wrote it if I could redo it in my mama's honor. So can we sing my mama's song for y'all today? Now I got any quartet lovers in here. Now step up with it and look at my description. Old boy cutters used to start stuff like this. No.
as my grandmama say, what's the devil way you choose to give? We got it available to you tonight. Amen. But look at your neighbor. Our voices is shot. Y'all pray for us. Okay. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care what the situation is. Tell them I don't want to give you a solution to the problem. Don't wait for the battle to go. Don't wait for the battle to go. I thought I found some great advice.
you. Sit in the Lord is in this place. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're going to be the Lord. You got church history. Amen. Thank you. Spirit of the Lord, I thank God for the Spirit of the Lord being in this place on today. He's our chairman of the Deacon Board. Thank you, dude. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, Sister Andrea did such a wonderful job this morning, but she asked me to do it this evening. <laughs> uh, I would like to say I thank you, those of you that have been here in the program, you actually heard our history. I can just supply the dates for you now. And the date was when we gave our pastor that vision was 2003 that he shared it with us. And I don't know if God gave it to him before then, but I do know that when he told it to me, it, it excited me then. And he was pastoring at the time two churches. God had blessed him at one time before that to unite two churches. It became uh, First United, which was in Fulton. And uh, then he was pastoring the church, Second Baptist, which I was a member of. And in 2003, when he shared that uh, vision with us, I had no doubt that I wanted to be a part of it. And I really could just say, look what God has done in the I thank God that he allowed me to be one of the helpers, you know, to be able to, to bring this about. But most of all, I thank God for those that like the uh, mission work the compliments to Christ and all. But they, you know, they did so much work in, in that piece. And, you know, when we look at the, what we have here now compared to what it was, you know, uh, myself, I was the electrician for it. Here, but I thank God for the electrician that they had with them. And he pre wired a lot of it for them. So but I can tell you there were times, you know, when you know when I would leave work and you soaked with sweat and then you had to try to come and, and do there were a lot of days that they didn't see me. And I was, you know, because their work would end at the time that I was getting off. So <laughs> it was just a blessing to see the, you know, what has come about for this. But I'm supposed to be talking about history, but I'm talking about the building, but the, the history is really tied within all that you've heard. And it's like one of the elected officials said, he has been walking the walk and talking the talk. So he has truly been doing what God has asked him to do. And I'm just grateful that God allowed me to be a part of it. Like I said, in 2003, you know, we, we started at the, the theater. When we got there, we, I did a little bit of wiring in there, too, to try to get us more light because the place was so dark again. So now we have more light. Uh, but we uh, we are fortunate, my wife and I, you know, we both came with him. So I've been with him that whole time. And that was, as Sister Angie did, I'm going to echo her again this morning. I'm going to ask all of the, I want all of the new generation members to stand, but all of the original members, that you stand first. Look around. There's just a few that are not here, but you know, it's, you can see it was very few of us. So we thank God for what has taken place. Now, with everyone with new generation, that you stand now. And you can see how God has blessed us. Thank God for our pastor, our visionary. And thank God that we won't carry the cost of this afternoon.
Stay. Uh -oh. Stay, that's it. And now uh, my buddy start to come with an exhortation to give it. Can you please come? Come on, bless the Lord in this place. We can do a little bit better than that.
Now, uh, now, I know some of the individuals they said their speech and that kind of thing and got out of here. But um, I'm going to ask, this is a 16 year anniversary. I would love, this is the Lord, this is me asking. I would love for at least 16 people to sow $500 today. At least 16 people to sow $500. Listen, listen, that's going to be an easy thing to do. That's how we're going to do it. If you can't do it today, will you uh, do an IOU that you'll complete that assignment before this month is out? Now, now, if you can do that, if you would like to give 500, uh, I'll be the first one. I'll be the first one. I need 15 more uh, to do that. Could you lift your hand? 15 more. 15 more. We don't, we don't. That's two. That's, that's three of us. Four of us. Come on. Come on. You got me? Five. You help me count because I, I grew up on a tall count. I'm slow with my mouth. We're at six. Okay, we got two that's gonna give a thousand. I want and he won. Anybody else? Oh, I can't get it down. Yes, I do. Yeah. There's another thousand right there. Let me get mine out so we don't have a bluff. Okay, that's one thousand. There's two five hundred trucks right there. Three. We're tired. We're tired. Okay, we're tired. That was, that was how many, that's about, that's, that's about nine or ten, that's doubling it. When we doubled it, that was one, two, that was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need, uh, we need five more, five more, five hundred. Five or five hundred or, okay, five hundred or thousand. Oh, five hundred, five hundred. We need four more five hundred, four more five hundred. We have this month to do it. We have this month complete. Now this month to I tell you what, what about two fifty? I need two, two fifty people to join together. So I do two fifty, you do two fifty. We united, Chris, so we're going to lift this thing up right here. Real quickly, come on, come on. Okay, that's, 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 that's our, whatever number that is, that's 13, 13. Come on, come on, 250, 250. Two, two I tell you what, who have 250 don't have a partner? Who have 250 don't have a partner? We'll make it five, I, I'm gonna do the other, I'll do the other partner. What's that big deal? Do, take, do, do. Is that? Oh, okay, I don't know. That's how I am. I'm going to be the king place in my family there. Who was that 250? Who was that 250? I saw a hand somewhere. Okay, y'all praying about it. I got time, you got time. Joe made me change my shirt until I keep my shoes on, so I'm. I'm So I came to work, I ain't coming to preach. <laughs> Anybody decide that? There you go. All right. He and I, 250. Me and my brother right here. Uh, we're going to do it for him. All right. All right, here's the next thing. I need about four of y'all, if you can, just as you can. You know where y'all are. You know where y'all are. Doing a facility like this for this community, Pastor Williams always said, he didn't do this for himself. This is something for, for, for uh, Utah, for Green County. And I want, I would love for each of us to be a part of it in some kind of way. And this is how we can do it. We can find four or five of you say, you know what, I'll commit to sewing one hundred dollars to that this afternoon. If that you will you commit to that and bring that? Amen. Amen. Will you come? Will you come? Let's get some money to 
us up to say what he's going to do. to giving. I don't know how much the Sheriff's Department has committed to giving. And I'm challenging Mr. Mayor, I'm challenging the city, the, the town, uh, to, 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 to double whatever the Sheriff's Department is going to do. It's going to be free for it. Amen. If it's, in your, if it's in your discretion to be able to do that. Amen. 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 I say that because uh, I was talking to one of the pastors who said, he said that sometimes politicians deal with the call. Uh, I'm in a city, truth to be told to you, I'm in a city where pretty much the city kept us in ministry. And we're not separated. You know, they, 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 they put the laws out there, they govern the laws, and we have the spiritual strength because we're partners together in the work of Christ. Amen. Amen. And there are some avenues where the city and the sheriff and those my pipes and give to the king of God. Amen, amen. Everybody stretch your hand toward the pastor. Say, God bless you in this city in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, here we go, here we go. All the $50, $25, whatever you got, just come on running, just come on running. Can you get money? Come on, give your best, give your best while I'm here. You didn't have those that they call Give your best. Let me ask you, who is here 
who wants to get fired and tap into the supermarket bird that don't have it. Who don't have it and want to tap into it? Who don't have the fire and want to tap into it? The pastor, I don't want to be a part of that. If you want to be a part of it, lift your hand. If you want to be a part of it, lift your hand.